These are my 23-24 park skis. I've actually got a couple days on them in Zermatt this preseason. What I like about this is they're 96 underfoot. To me, the perfect park ski is somewhere between 94 to 100. I think this is like a, a nice width because it provides some stability. And I think it's like a more enjoyable ski to ski and flex and butter around on. Um, but it's also not like so wide that it's starting to be all mountain ski or that you're kind of losing that ability to perform in the park. I also like these skis a lot because they have like a nice balance of camber and rocker and the camber puts like a larger contact point on the slope so the ski is quite soft but because it has a larger contact point with the slope it actually makes it like a, a good balance where you're able to flex them and I can do some pretty crazy butters on these things without feeling like when I'm carving and going on the piece and going fast that I'm like nervous about how they're going to perform. These also have edges around the noses and I've had skis and park skis with edges on the noses. Without the noses, there's pros and cons. But what I like about this is when you're buttering, having the edge all the way up on the nose kind of helps you have control when you're like, kind of like really up there on your butters. So I think it's pretty fun. And then for the bindings, I would say I go one centimeter back uh, for my park ski. I know people who go minus four back. I know people who go center. I was a true center person for a very, very long time and then when I started this ski company and started learning more about skis and how they perform, I decided to go one back and I really can't tell the difference, but I enjoy how it skis because even though I'm skiing a lot of park on this and skiing switch, I would say the majority of the time I'm still just skiing forward and carving. So I think going slightly back from center could be, could be a nice decision for the park rats out here who maybe have only tried center. My din setting, I ride at 11s. It's kind of like a weird number, but uh, I don't like 10 or not that I don't like 10, but I feel like 10 might be too little and I think 12 might be too high. So I go at 11, I'm like 150 pounds and I think I could realistically ride anywhere from like a 10 to a 12. It's really funny because now that I look at it, you want to have like a binding that has like, I think at least two on each side of your din. So you probably, if you're going to ride at, you know, at an eight, you don't want to have eight be the lowest din setting that your binding can do. Uh, and if you're going to ride at a 16, you don't want 16 to be the highest. So you want to find a binding that kind of has your din in almost like the middle. And I would say on these, my din's probably on the lower end considering you go all the way up to 18. But when you get those higher din bindings, they often have more quality. So I choose to go with 16s or 18s because those are the more quality bindings. What I really like in my park skis is I, I like them to be fun. I like them to be playful. I mean, I also like them to perform on jumps as well, but I'd say the majority of the time that I'm out park skiing, I'm doing some sort of swerve variation. So these skis are a lot of fun because they have a, a really nice flex to them right here. And this just makes your life so much fun on a day where it maybe isn't that exciting out there, where maybe the conditions aren't super good or super icy or whatever. These kind of like having a ski that's nice and playful allow you to really enjoy the rails or the other parts of the park and also i think this is like an awesome ski to go carving on i love how responsive they are they have a pretty short turning radius and those are all kind of things i look for in ski it's just like are they fun are they playful are they quick to turn and just have a ski that can basically keep up with my mind and when i'm skiing like i might just decide that i want to go over there or over there and it's nice to have a ski that can do both so i am five foot nine or 176 and i ride a 178 ski I would say the general rule of thumb and what I've subscribed to is that your ski should 100% be as tall as you. I prefer slightly taller. When you ride a ski that's shorter than you, they're gonna be easier to maneuver, but you're gonna have less ski underneath you. So you're kind of like sacrificing, I'd say some stability. Uh, if you have a ski that is taller than you, much, much taller, they're gonna be more stable, but they're not gonna be as easy to maneuver because there's gonna be more material underneath you. So I usually would say like going about as tall as you, a little bit taller. I personally think the skis look better on people when they're slightly taller. And I will also sometimes use 186s depending on what type of performance I wanna have. So for example, when I'm skiing all mountain and I'm gonna do like a big mountain run, I will prefer to have a 186 because in that scenario, I don't really need maneuverability, but I'd rather have this ability.